Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. I'm very happy you're here with me for a very quick bonus video. I want to share with you a few things that I've been working on. Some news, some news that has to do with me. Some news about the shop and that kind of thing. So I hope you'll stick around for the whole video. It's just going to be a quick one. Oh, and we'll do a quick little craft too. So don't go away. The craft will be at the end. So if you leave early, you'll miss it. All right. So the first thing I want to do is I want to share my Easter. I hope you can see it. The sun just went away. And this is terrible light. Come on. We need some sun. Just a little. This is my Easter folder that we made. The, the paper pouch. Look at this. Isn't this lovely? Oh my gosh. I wanted to share with you. This is up first. I don't know if you can see. Let's get it up close. So we've got pearls and lace. And all those pearls are hand done by me. Right here I've added all the pearls. This was lace that we do carry in our shop. We only have limited supplies of this. Especially some of the more fancy French laces. Um, like this and this and this. We only have a limited amount, so once they're gone, they're gone. They will not be back again. So, because we bought out a shop and we don't have access to that lace again. So, this is a pocket here. And if you open it, you will see that I have some lovely little tags. I'll get them up close so you could see them. She's sweet. Oh my gosh, I love her. Oh, and then she has a pretty little charm. And then we have this tag, which I think you guys, you saw me make some of these in our videos. So, you know, they're, they're right. Our, oh, and this one is cool because it opens up and you have this big old folded tag that you can write in, right? You can write on the back of this one as well. So those both go in there. Okay. They go in our first pocket. And this is what it looks like when you don't have anything in the pocket, right? So this is our first pocket. I'm going to try to get that back in there without damaging anything. You know, it's a bit of a bit of a job. And then on the inside, you have all this lace work with the pearls. Again, I added all those pearls by hand. And this is a belly band. I forgot that's a belly band. You know what? I think I'm going to put this card in the belly band. I completely forgot until I showed you guys that, look, I have a belly band. Oh, that won't fit. Well, maybe if I go this way. There we are. There's the belly band. Then I have a page flip over. Remember this one we did? The page topper? Well, this is what a page topper does. It's over the top of this particular one. You open it up and you have, look at this, this is embossed. And I have added some beautiful um, glazes. I have two different color glazes on this pretty pale blush embossed. And then of course we have all the bling. I have videos on this. And then this is a notepad. So it's a standalone notepad that is on the top with a little paper clip over the pocket. I'm gonna move this stuff because I think it's distracting. And then we have, oh, sorry. Then we have, of course I've lost my son right as I'm doing the video, frustrating. We have this little pocket, which you guys saw me make. I know you did. And you can write on all back of all of these cute little things. So these are in the first pocket and they're clear. And I made clear pockets. We do have lace here and here under the pocket. And then we have lace up the side as well. Um, I did make them clear because I just didn't want to cover up this gorgeous, yummy paper from Crafty Cat, right? And a lot of these pieces are from Crafty Cat, Joey Card Maker, and Shabby Dabby Doodah. So those are where everything comes from. And then we have two. I made this one. This is Lorna Taylor. It is um, Taylor Made Journals. That's her stamp. And then this is a beautiful little card or pocket, whichever you wanted to use it as. But in mine, they're cards and they're going in this nice, clear little pockets right here. They're not hard to get in there. It's just hard for me to do. I'm going to have to sit. I'm standing up, so I'm really far away from this and I cannot see what the living daylights I'm doing. So let me put that back in there. All right, so that goes in there. And then this would go over the top and pin on. But before I do that, I wanna show you what's in our back pocket. I have a dozen assorted pieces, approximately a dozen because there are more than just 12 because a lot of the pieces have pieces in them. Like this has some, this has some, 
you know, this and this. They all have little pieces, but I didn't count them. So these are some of the ones we made on video and I have finished them up. This one has three, this is the pocket. And there she is all done. And then that's a vintage playing card and we have two little journal cards that are in there. So you have those in that little pocket. So I didn't count these, just so you know, there's, there's a good dozen of things in here. And then we have this one, which we did this one in a video. And they could be written on the back if you would like, or you can glue them down. And I know it's going to come due late, so you just have to enjoy it for this year and maybe give it away next year. And then this one has a darling little Easter card. These bunnies are so cute. Aren't they cute? You can write on the back. And this is a darling envelope. These are Joey Cardmaker. This was in his Kofi site. Um, it is not in his Etsy shop. So it's Kofi, K-O-F-I. And then this one is a cute little notebook. You untie it. And you open it up. And you have pretty little pages from Baker paper baker creations this is a jewel design and then i don't know that might have been a gail augustine alley and then we have those cute little bunnies and there's a little card there so a little tag so there's that one so these are all the goodies that come in oh isn't this cute and that's got one of my butterflies on it i am in love with this envelope it's hard to let go of it's got stickles a lot of these have stickles on them not all of them i didn't want to over stickle the whole thing but I did want to, you know, make it very Eastery, very um, pearls and butterflies and flowers and yellows and greens and pinks and blues. All the pretty spring, spring grass green and butter yellow and just, you know, lots of little flowers and all kinds of bling, bling, bling. So this is what we have for this. I'm going to move this down a little bit to kind of give it some space in here. And it's going to go in here. The inside is a pretty uh, purple, um, inside of a purple envelope that this is made out of. So, and then we're going to put, this is a page topper that I made in our video about, the, about around March 7th. For those of you who want to find it, it's made out of junk mail or junk packaging. So there it is. It, this is going to go into the shop. Watch for it in the next two days. It could go in as early as... Saturday or Sunday. Um, I only have the one, so and then we'll get it out priority mail, so you'll have it before Easter. It will be tied with a set of beautiful um beautiful bows and ribbons. I got my order in from Erin at myscrapcabin.com or dot etsy.com. And I'm going to use some of these beautiful paints to tie this up and maybe a little blue. Um, I just got my big spring shipment in. So as you can see, uh, she's got some gorgeous, gorgeous uh, ribbons for you. So you can go over to my scrapcabin.etsy.com. Okay, so this will be tied with some pretty ribbon. And you'll get a cute little gift from me, handmade gift from me. Just a little something to say thank you. You choose it. All right, you guys, that was a biggie for me, right? Now, in our last videos, I wanted to show you the finished because everyone wanted to see them. Uh, these were the belly bands we made, and I decided to go with the ladies so they could go into my various journals that I have working. These are the belly bands we made from scraps, right? And it's the process that we use that's kind of the new thing, you know? Um, and I use ladies. You could use flowers. You could use any kind of focal point that you want but you know that's what I do so here they are completed I will hold them up so you can see but they have ribbons and pearls and stickers and all kinds of fun things I used a little bit of everything all the words are from a jewel design on Etsy and I use washi stickers floral stickers, pearls, and vintage laces, all vintage laces, okay? Then I did this one. This is from, um, oh, you guys, I just had a complete blank what it's called. <sighs> um, I'm looking for the pack because I've been having trouble with names lately. I can see it in my head. I just don't know where it went. Oh, it's her brand newest kit. I am not helpful to her. I feel so bad. Hold on a minute. 
Oh, chapter one paper, Sue and Jan. And this is the vintage florist. It'll be going into my rose project that I've been working on for a while. And I did this. This was one of our envelopes, our fold-up envelope that we made out of the... Um, oh, what do we call that, you guys? I'm getting one for you. That particular one is made out of a long craft envelope. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, long craft envelope. These are in our shop. For those of you, five or six of you requested these. They're in the shop, ladies. Go get them, okay? They are there, all right? So if you need them, go get them. That's what this is made out of. You can see you can write on the back of that or glue it down. You have a pocket here and here and up here. And this is one of the tags from the kit. Isn't it pretty? And I've added some goodies to it. And so, um, and then these are just for my own private stash. So I've added to it to do a little more roses because I was making it for my rose kit. And I have more pieces I will make to go into my rose project that I'm working on, which I hope to get to finished or started or something soon, right? So here we go. I want to get those back in there. So that came out really lovely. We we did the we covered these envelopes. This is we have a video for this. So if you're interested in those, it's there. It's a triple pocket, triple pocket tuck actually. And like I said, those are in the shop for those of you who requested it. I'm not going to tell you about it unless you guys request it or I'm working with it to see. And I was very pleased with the quality of the envelopes. So there you go. All right, now let's see what else. Oh, you guys requested the pouches. And that will be in the Monday, up in the Monday. I'm, I'm planning as long as I uh, can, can do it. I, Monday's video will be the pouch for you guys, the storage pouches that I made. Um, for those of you who missed that, let me hold on one second. I'm sorry, you guys. I didn't think to bring them out because I just realized that maybe some of you would not know what in the living daylights am I talking about when it comes to, sorry, I'm right next to the camera. Eek, these. You wanted to know how to make these. There's nothing to them. Super simple. Very easy. Anyone can make them. We'll even try to decorate while we're there. I'll give you some ideas for decorating them. Um, but these were my cardboard storage pouches. And everybody has asked for them. So I better leave them out so I remember to do them for you guys. I remember that that is what my Monday video is going to be, right? So I better leave those out for you. So I'll put those out where I see them so we can do that. And then um, I thought we could have a little chat. What can I put on the desk for you to look at? Should I put my pretty Easter one on there? Maybe it's so cute. I'm just in love with it. Oh, the light got a little bit better. She is stickled up. I don't know if you could see her. She has stickles on her. She's very smart, smart looking. She's a pretty little girl. And then we have our pretty little tag in there, which I wanted to get back in there. Has one of my butterflies on it. So anyway, let's put that on there. Now, as for news, well, after the last videos that I created for you guys, so over a week ago, um, I had told you that I was not feeling very well and that I was having problems with my back. Well, I continued to grow worse all week. Finally had to go to a specialist and I had a whole round of tests to find out what's going on. I've been on full to partial bed rest. I'm on partial now, meaning I can be up and do little videos like this real quick, maybe do a project. But the doctor's got me resting until he figures out what's going on with me. My health seemed to take a turn for the worse. We don't know why, we don't know what's wrong. We, we suspect a couple things, but he's gotta you know, confirm it with Tess. He's a really good doctor, so I know he'll figure it out. So I just wanted you to know that when I didn't comment on Monday's video and I just put a heart, if you ever see me do that, it's because I'm unable to comment to you guys because you know I answer all your comments. I read them all and I answer them. If I can't, if I've read them, but I can't answer them at that time, I will put a heart and then go back and answer as soon as I can. So I want to let you know, some of you noticed that I had not commented and I've been very quiet on Instagram. I've been very quiet everywhere. And you got kind of worried and asked me, hey, what's going on? So I wanted to tell you, mm, you know, I don't know. Something's not like it should be. So I thought I better let clue you guys in that things just haven't been great. We don't know what's going on. Could be that I just worked myself <laughs> to death <laughs> in my, um, you know, putting the shop together. So it could be that that happened. And, and you know, I'm going to pull these off here. I don't usually use a white background because my thing doesn't like it. I'm not sure it showed my pretty Easter 
um, folder very well. It just doesn't photograph well, you guys. You should see it in person. It's like just majorly yummy. I mean, oh, I wish I could show it to you in person. I'm just so in love with it. It's going to be hard to sell this one. I mean, maybe it won't sell. <laughs> so I thought real quickly we could do a little quick craft together just so this video isn't a complete and total waste. Um, and what I did was I took uh, Tim Holtz fabric tape. It's very, very sticky. And I put it onto some scrap cardstock. And I'm going to show you what I want to do with it here. Uh, I don't want to always be bombarding you guys with health issues, but I have to give you a warning if just suddenly I disappear on you, something isn't right, now you know why, you know. So, as I do consider you guys my friends, I do share with you, I give you, I promised you transparency when I started this, so I'm giving it to you. Now I have a strip, I'll show you what we're going to do with this. I have a strip of, of course, where'd it go? That I can throw away, I don't need that. I have enough cardboard to choke a horse this is just scrap cardboard from one of my um lovely papers printing papers it has cardboard in it uh oh okay i'm gonna warn you if you get too close to that it won't cut so gotta kind of stay away from the tape i was gonna do this by hand which i'm probably thinking i should do i wanted it to be nice and straight but i'm finding that's not gonna be the case here that was not good all right I will try this one more time if I really am just finding them. Um, I guess I could leave a little white. What I'm making is fabric, well, what do you call them? Fabric tickets. I'm making fabric tickets. So what I want to do is I'm going to cut them, and I'm going to use my scissors because the cutters don't like this. I'm making myself a set of little fabric tickets to use on journals as a decoration, right? They have a different feel and they're very textured, really cool, very heavy. So they'll be cool uh, as an embellishment. So if you have any of this fabric um, sticky tape, this is something you could do with it besides just, you know, sticking it on parts of the journal, right? So, um, I'm thinking that this is very cool. I, I was watching someone decorate with it, and I went, oh, you know what? I have those tickets. Wouldn't those be cool as little tickets to put on my bits and pieces of projects, right? So, especially a vintage project. Now, there's this one. That's a bitty bit down there. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave that a little bit bigger. I'm gonna cut that one there. I'll cut off the white later. I don't want you guys to sit and watch me just, you know, struggle with that. I had to clean my scissors after I cut these strips the first time. It was crazy. Um, oh, yeah, that's an actual tag there. Aren't those cute? They're tickets. Little tickets. They're little ticket tags. Thought they were darling. Would be a good way to have an embellishment that's a little bit different. Because, you know, we use the same embellishments over and over and over we get tired of them, you get tired of them. You're like, don't you have anything else to show us? Well, so someone's gonna ask me later, hey, where'd you get those? I'm gonna say, there is a video for that, right? So I thought that it would be fun to just make little goodies out of them and put them in my little bowl that I have on my desk. I have a desk of little ticket, a, a desk of little ticket bowls, a desk. <laughs> a a bowl full of tickets. That's what I'm trying to say. See, excuse me. I have been pretty ill and I haven't been doing a lot of talking. I've been very quiet, resting, watching movies, not watching any um, videos at all. I haven't been watching any crafting videos, which normally I would do, but I really needed to be mentally and physically quiet. Um, so, you know, I'm hoping to have a Monday video for you. As long as I can stay on my feet, you will have one. I'm looking for some place to cut this. Maybe I'll leave it long like that. Well, it might not fit in my... I just think these are cute little things to glue on your um, your pages. You know, I, we use the same things over and over. You know we do, right? So, like, I have this little bowl of them on my desk, right? of all different, oops, that's something else. <laughs> and so I thought, well, I'll just add these to my little stash and that will give me some more things to, to use, you know, plus the tickets that are already here. I have all these 
yummy little tickets. So I thought, well, that would be fun, right? And then I thought these right there, they're not tickets. So obviously they're not gonna cut it, right? So I thought maybe what I could do with these is make them into belly bands or a strip that I can add to a belly band. Does it, I hope that makes sense. Like what I like to do with these is take a nice white ribbon. Ah, the bottom of that, you can tell it's getting dull. I need a new cutter. I, it's not, I don't use it or anything, right? Oh, that looks terrible. I'll have to fix it. Okay, so I want this to be a belly band that I stick in the middle of a piece of wide lace and then add a pretty, you know, some kind of pretty flower or lady or whatever I've got, you know. So that's what I thought I would do with these. I had a bunch of rolls of this lovely sticky. I don't even know if Tim still makes this or if it's been discontinued. But even if it's been discontinued, you can probably find it on Amazon um, under fabric, Tim Holtz fabric tape or... Um, or even on Etsy that way. I think if you Googled, or not Googled, but you know, searched on those that you should be able to find, you know, something for that. Let me see if I have a wide lace I could demonstrate that on. Mm, don't know. Most of these laces are, oh, this is a wider one. Let's, let's see what we got here. So, for example, if this is your belly band, and you would put this down the middle. And then you could put a pretty flower or something else on here. And you've got yourself a beautiful belly band. And it has some body to it because you've got this um, cardboard underneath it, right? Instead of just... And you couldn't really use it unless you... There. So you've got this beautiful piece of fabric that's mounted for you. Same with this one. Isn't that pretty? And then we put some kind of a medallion or something there or a gem or jewels or something like that. So anyway, that's what I had in mind for those. So I will probably grab a few of my others. I don't know if I have any others that aren't tickets. I think those were the only two florals that I had of his uh, tapes. But I would think I have some fabulous um, fabric ribbon, uh, ribbon that is made from fabric that is going to go into the shop at some point. So I may try that with some of the thinner ones and see how they work. Uh, put them on a piece of cardboard and or a sticky back uh, tape and see how those work. So I'll have to, to do that and let you know how it comes out or, or we can do it in a video. But I thought I would just share this quick little craft with you. Show off my Easter folder, Easter ephemera folder, and share with you what we finished in our last video and um, share with you where I'm at with the health issues. And I'm, I'm sorry, you guys, I know a lot of you are tired of hearing about it, but I did warn a lot of you when I first started that I was very hesitant to make videos because I knew I would never be as consistent as everyone else. And I knew I would always have these issues and didn't know how long I could do it. So I'm just happy I've been with you guys for three years in April. It'll April 5th, I believe is our um, three year anniversary coming right up. I'm going to have to decide if I want to do any kind of a drawing or anything for that or give away something. I'm going to have to figure out what I would give away. So we'll be thinking about that and the way my giveaways work for those of you who are new. If you want to win one of my giveaways, you have to be coming because you never know what video I'm going to pick. I will not tell you, hey, I'm doing a, 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 a giveaway, you know, comment. Uh-uh. I'm going to be giving it away to people who comment on a regular basis. I will pick out one of my videos between... March 5th and April 5th, I will pick out a video somewhere in there that you've commented on and I will pull a name. Uh, the one with the most comments is the video I will use and I will pull a name from that video. So if you haven't commented, you still have time, comment from here on out and put a like and you have to be a subscriber. So you must be a subscriber, you must comment and you must hit a like in order to qualify for for a giveaway. So, and you don't know what I'm going to give away. Last time I gave away a journal. So you never know what it'll be this time. In fact, I believe Julie Monroe won it last time. Didn't you, Julie? So it paid for her to comment in it and be a subscriber and watch. And she's a good friend to all of us. So, all right, you guys, thank you for watching. Uh, have a fabulous weekend and I will see you all very soon. Hugs and kisses, guys. Bye-bye.